So, back in the days, in the, tw- in the 19th century, in the 18th century, going back, yeah, back then, uh, it was not really uh, popular, it was not known to have female lawyers, okay? And today, I am glad I live in the 21st century because we now have women that are really doing extraordinary jobs. And today I have somebody who is special, who is also a friend. Her name is Cynthia. She's a lawyer. Man, man, she's doing a great job. So right here on Vantage Point Amplified on YouTube.com, it's your boy Moon Tunes. And I'm glad to be talking to you again, again and again. And I'm going to be coming next week. I'm going to come again next week. But one, I'm going to come back two weeks. Uh, uh, I'm going to be coming every week for the rest of the year okay so expect me so today i got cynthia who is a lawyer she's going to be uh talking to us about her life and how she got to be a lawyer how she became a lawyer what inspired her so it's vantage point amplified right here with your boy moon tunes plus two six three seven seven six twenty two eleven zero one plus two six three seven seven six twenty two eleven zero one if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe right now just click on the bell below for notifications of a new upload every week i am glad today i'm talking to cynthia cynthia how are you please do introduce yourself and tell us what you do oh hi how are you uh, my name is cynthia sandlish lamini and I'm a first born in a family of four and I come from a very humble and Christian family and I thank God that my parents are all alive and uh, they are my backbone and my support system. I'm a registered legal practitioner, notary republic and conveyancer and right now I'm a legal officer at a non-governmental organization called KHOK at the core of humanity and this organization works with children that are in need of rehabilitation focusing on those in conflict with the law and those that have encountered abuse with the main objective of protecting the welfare and human rights of children that is to include their rights to a fair trial and protection uh, from inhuman treatment and punishment now in such a male dominated uh industry where you hear most people that i just hear of are male lawyers male lawyers not that we don't have female lawyers but it's uh, most of these industries or most of these lines of work are male dominated in a male dominated industry like this what inspired you to become a lawyer okay so the seed to become a lawyer was sown uh when i was still in school I grew up observing how women were marginalized and were not considered for such professions as law, uh, medicine and other prestigious programs. Uh, Not only that girls and women in general were treated as second to men, uh, this transformed me from a reserved girl that I grew up being to an inquisitive and human rights conscious student. Uh, besides being a prefect at school, I held several portfolios uh, in ZUNA, that is Zimbabwe United Nations Association Justice for Children and the Girls Platform Against Gender Based. So at high school, this uh, organization stimulated my insatiable appetite of seeing justice prevailing in all spheres of uh, human existence. Um, to go back a little bit, the the choice of my A-level subjects, especially history and literature and English, further postulated this dream. Uh, through studying different texts in literature, there were women and children who were victimized, and this commented my dream choice of career. Uh, how way I have always wanted to study law such that I make a difference to disadvantaged women and children who fall victim to scrupulous elements in the society and but a uh, well cannot afford the legal representation and costs which currently in Zimbabwe are beyond reach to ordinary citizens. And you know, besides uh, high costs, um my society still need to be conscientized on the essence of legal representation so yeah i think uh that's the main reason why i was inspired to become a lawyer so how long have you been in this uh in this line of work and how has it been for you Okay, uh, I'm still new in the field, but uh, it feels like I've been there for a long time uh, because of how I've been playing 
uh, a better and bigger role in um, standing for the rights uh, of children as well as uh, of the disadvantaged and the marginalized people. So this is the most important question of the whole thing that we do right here on Vantage Point. I believe this is the most important question because we are here to inspire somebody. We are here to talk to somebody who is aspiring to become uh, who you are, to become Cynthia the lawyer, to become you, a female lawyer who is a young lady. She's doing a, she, you're shining. You are shining, right? You're in your 20s. You're already a lawyer and you, you're doing a great job. So if you are to go back in time, what would you tell the younger you? I would tell my younger me that keep trusting in God because he is the ultimate solution and the sky is not a limit but rather an inspiration. And indeed, like what Martin Luther King Jr. said, yes, I have a dream which can only be realized if my thirst of being successful is quenched. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for for gracing us with your presence right here on Vantage Point Amplified. Which Bon Montions plus two six three seven seven six twenty two eleven zero one plus two six three seven seven six twenty two eleven zero one. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Before you leave, please do tell us where we can find you on social media. On social media, you can find me uh, on Facebook as Cynthia Sendit Lamini. Then on Instagram, uh, it's Cynthia Sendi and linkedin it's cynthia lamini then on twitter it's cy sandy it's your boy moon tunes right here on vintage point amplified every week i'm gonna be bringing something new man for those of you who have already subscribed to my youtube channel thank you so much for those of you who are about to and those who are planning on doing so thank you in advance Please do click on the bell below for notifications of a new upload every week. We're going to be bringing something new every week, man. Some new interviews, some new... Uh, I told you, that's why we call it Vintage Point. We talk about everything. We try to cover every aspect of life. It's not just about music. It's not just about church. It's not just about the Bible. It's not just about uh, food. Yes, I, I, in fact, we're going to be talking about food just now, okay? So there's, there's a lot of things to talk about. So this is why we call it Vintage Point. We look at life from every angle. So, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence again. Whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, thank you so much. It's your boy Mo Jones right here on Vintage Point. Let's go.
Forget it now. That is Point Podcast right here on YouTube.com. You can follow us on Facebook.com.